Hey everyone, I'm Armor Gaming. Welcome to another Monster Legends upcoming events video. In today's video, we have a lot of information on the upcoming monsters and some information on the Draconian Maze, so let's get right into it. First off is a new epic monster that's going to be released, most likely in the maze. His name is Daganth. And design alone, this monster looks really cool. It's a light and darkness dragon. And check out this skill right here. May give precision to our allies. That's pretty nice. Allies take no damage from dark and light attacks for two turns. Requires cooldown. So this is definitely going to be a top tier epic monster, especially in wars involving dark and light, or dark or light. Hopefully this monster has a pretty good base speed, that way you can just stack some speed runes and hopefully use this skill to prevent your monsters from getting hurt. On top of that, this monster also has some nice supportive skills. Check this out, all targets heal by 25%, removes all negative status effects from allies. So the healing aspect is really nice, and the removing negative effects is also really nice. Hopefully this monster has a good trait. To top things off, it can also give nightmares to all targets, and it can also recover 50% of stamina from one of your allies. So definitely, this is going to be a top tier epic monster. You definitely want to get your hands on this one. Next up, we have Nox the Condemned, and this guy is literally a reaper. If you thought Raw Zul was bad, this guy takes it a step further. Let's just start off by looking at this skill. Extracts 25% of max life from an ally, gains damage boost, heals itself by 30%. So this monster literally drains the life from one of your allies just to give himself a boost and to heal his own life. Okay, let's take a look at the next skill. Kills an allied monster abducted soul kills an allied monster you gain double damage and double life for the following two turns and you also get an extra turn which is great so for those of you that don't know about razul razul removes half of the life from all of his teammates and he gives himself triple damage and an extra turn well this guy kills just one of your allies gets double damage so it's not as strong it's not triple damage but he also gives himself double life and both monsters get an extra turn that is pretty awesome we look at the following skill extracts 75 percent of enemies max life nox also loses 75 percent of his max life. So this skill can be extremely useful when taking on bosses in the adventure map or even for taking on really tanky monsters. Although you do gotta be careful when you use this because you lose 75% of your max life. Which means if you've already lost 25% of your max life and you were to use this skill it would probably kill you if you don't have some sort of shield or if he has some sort of buff to his life like Abducted Soul gives him. He also has Opaque Husk which makes him become immune to dark element for 3 turns. So this is a skill that Heyman has which can be pretty good considering he's a dark monster going up against other dark monsters in Team War. And another extremely fascinating skill, Total Obliteration. It deals insane special damage to all allies and enemies. The keyword here is that it deals insane special damage to all allies, so you're not only hurting the enemy, you're also hurting all of your teammates. On a good note though, your team receives less damage if the attack doesn't hit all the enemies. So can you imagine doing Abducted Soul, which kills one of your allied monsters, you gain double damage, you gain double life, and probably the reason you gain double life is to survive from this total obliteration. It's kind of like a last resort kind of hit, which I really like. Imagine if it's one against three, knocks the condemned versus three enemy monsters, and you're able to win because of total obliteration and Abducted Soul. That's pretty darn amazing. Now, now before people go on hating Abducted Soul, keep in mind that in wars where it's like common, dark, and some other element, a lot of the time we know that the common is going to die. So if we're able to kill that common ourselves instead of the enemy killing that common and give ourselves a buff, double life, and extra churn, and then follow it up with another strong attack, why not do it? I'm also wondering how total obliteration is going to come into play if you're using Nox on defense. Can you imagine if you're about to win and the AI was to do total obliteration and stop you from winning? That would really suck. And on another note, if it's dark and metal for team wars, or if you're using Nox in player versus player, you can just pair him up with Timerion and use space time with Timerion so your allies don't take any hits. I'm also wondering what happens with Abducted Soul if you use space time. Will your ally die or will he stay alive and you just get the buff? And what happens if Nox is by himself? Is he still able to use Abducted Soul? If so, do you just kill yourself? Is it like a suicide? I'm assuming so. I can't say for sure. Maybe they won't let you use the skill, but I guess we'll just have to find out. The bad thing about this monster is that he is a VIP. So I'm assuming for the most of us that keep the game entirely free to play, we won't be able to get our hands on this amazing monster. Since he's a VIP, I'm assuming his stats are going to be above average and of course you know his trait he's going to be 50% immune to all negative effects so already that's really good i definitely see nox being one of the top monsters in the game for those of you that do buy vip monsters i would recommend this monster as of right now and what's new in monster legends well, the Draconian Maze information is coming up, and we already have information of three of the monsters. Frostwrath, Goren, and M2 Wayburn. And let's just look at a really quick Frostwrath overview. He has an amazing, amazing design. Just look at this monster. Power and life, not the most amazing. Speed is incredible, though. His trait is energized, which isn't so good, but he is faster than most water monsters. We have Goren, who doesn't necessarily have the most amazing power. He does have a tanky life and a pretty good speed for such a tanky monster. On top of that, he has Mountain, which is what Oros has. Gives an immunity to stun and freeze. So in team wars involving water and earth even though his power might not be the highest because he's immune to stun which lots of earth monsters tend to give and immune to freeze 
which lots of water monsters tend to do, this monster can be pretty good in Team Wars. And next we have M2 Wavern, also a really amazing design, just look at this. I am really looking forward to this next island. A pretty good power, life not so great, speed also not so great, immune to magnetizing, Trait, not my favorite, but nonetheless an amazing monster design. Anyways, going back to the information on the Draconian Maze, a new maze has opened its gates, come in and escape with lots of exclusive monsters. Lots of new players are waiting for you in this super special Draconian Maze. Come out of the labyrinth of paths with as many monsters as possible, you'll need them in the near future. And just look how amazing this looks. Here we have another monster, it's gonna be the Nature Dragon. We have Wavern, Frostwrath, Goron, Pandolf looking ever so epic in the background. And even more information, Terrorizer. Get the legendary Terrorizer for free by collecting pieces every day. So whether you're a brand new player or a veteran, Social Point is giving us a free legendary. All you have to do is log in daily and collect your puzzle piece. And even if you miss one or two days, they're gonna have happy hours where you can basically collect two puzzle pieces in one day. Happy Thanksgiving! Meet this year's Thanksgiving special monster, Plymouth! And I'm not sure what to say. This is definitely gonna go down as one of the ugliest monster designs in the whole game. We can only hope that with this monster lacks in design, he can make up for it in good stats and good skills. And we have a brand new premiere monster. Device is this year's Cyber Monday monster and our newest premiere monster. Boost his stats for a limited time. And this is what this guy looks like. It's literally a device. Looks like a cell phone, he's gonna be a thunder monster, so let's just hope he's good. And some more information on upcoming monsters. Right here we can't see anything. The other legendary monster that's gonna be in the Draconian Maze is Drek. And like with the other dragons, an amazing amazing design, I can only hope he's a good monster. We have Nox the Condemned, Terrorizer who turns out is gonna be dark, I honestly thought he was gonna be metal based on his character. We have Ulsus's pet and Hercule coming out, not too much information. And the VIP monster after Nox is gonna be a metal VIP monster and his name is Enus the Valiant. So right now we can't see anything about him but just be sure to come back to monster wiki where they constantly update it and then maybe they'll have a picture and then we'll be able to see whether he's cool or not but going back to what i think is the coolest update draconian maze island i can't see for sure but i think this maze island is going to happen immediately after the current progressive island ends some people are thinking there's going to be a 72 hour challenge before the draconian maze island again i don't really know but just look forward to this amazing amazing event and that is actually going to conclude this video i hope everyone has a great amazing day or a great amazing night remember to dream big and pursue your passions